your question. Right, so if you have read and understood considering this surgical pathology station, can you tell me how would you make the patient understand about the patient's condition? Um, Ma'am, uh, we will be, um, if she has her um, histopathology report, we'll be uh, uh, dealing this uh, as per the Bukes or TNM classification. Uh, that where the uh, what is the stage of this tumor? Yes, can, can you tell me what is Duke's classification? How would you use that information to convey um, or to make understand? Yes, ma'am. In Duke's classification, we have uh, four grades. Uh, A is where it is not um, invading the submucosa. The tumor is limited. To to submucosa, that's A. Uh, B is when it is limited to the muscularis propria, that's B1. B2 is when it is through the um, through all the layers, present throughout all the layers and um, till the serosa. C1 is when it is uh, in the bowel wall along with uh, uh, without lymph nodes invasion. C2 is with lymph node uh, invasion and D is uh, the metastatic disease. Okay, so considering that, uh, keeping in your mind a Duke's classification and TNM classification, and after reading what uh, Eva is written in the stem, this patient has which stage? Or where um, does this it is lie? B, this is B1 because it is limited to the muscularis layer. Okay, how would you explain it to the patient? This was uh, sorry, ma'am. How would you explain it to the patient? Uh, okay, so um, uh, we will uh, we'll tell her in terms of prognosis uh, that her prognosis of the disease is well, and the five year survival rate in that case is around eighty five percent. Okay. Um, how did you? Other come across yes that figure uh, ma'am that's uh, according to the uh, studies that have been done um, that where the stage of the tumor is so uh, only is then the most common carcinoma of the pollen adenocarcinoma ma'am okay the same as the patient has what is melanosis coli uh, ma'am melanosis coli is basically the depigmentation of the wall of a colon uh, it's an incidental finding, uh, and it is uh, it is benign, so it does not uh, signify any um, important disease. issue. Okay. Yeah, disease. So yeah. What is adenoma? Can you define the term adenoma? So, ma'am, adenoma is used where um, there is a it, adenoma. Lit, in a literal meaning, it means derived from a gland or gland-like structure. So. Um, Adenoma is a tumor where the which has been um, derived from the gland, or it has a glandular-like structure. That's adenoma. I guess. Benign epithelial neoplasm producing gland pattern. Producing okay. gland, right? Yes. So you have to say producing. All right. Can right. you please tell me this colon carcinoma is common in which part of the colon? Uh, which is common in which part? Uh, sorry, I didn't get it, ma'am. 
All right, can you please tell me what are the risk factors that you can avoid in order to uh, take precaution or avoid the colon carcinoma? So, uh, ma'am, risk factors are smoking, uh, uh, red, high red meat consumption. There is low fiber diet because chronic constipation and uh, patients who consume a lot of uh, junk food and red meat, they are prone to developing uh, C.A. colon. Uh, other than that, there can be a family history and uh, uh, presence of polyps, uh, particularly the um, uh, the new plastic polyps are uh, some of the risk factors where they can develop and uh, diseases like IBD, they can also develop uh, carcinoma colon. Uh, IBD is a big term. If you want to... Uh, ulcerative, uh, ulcerative, ulcerative colitis. Can you ulcerative. please tell me the genes which are associated with colon carcinoma? Uh, Ma'am, the genes are uh, the APC genes and mm -hmm. the... Uh, there was one more I can not recall, but um, APC, ma'am. Any other? What is the mechanism? Uh, how these genes uh, contribute or lead to the formation so of carcinoma? It is, it is basically a adenoma carcinoma sequence, we call it. And adenoma carcinoma sequence, there is, first there is dysplasia, and that is because of the... Um, uh, this is because of loss of function of the tumor suppressor gene, which is the APC gene. So there is mutation that leads to dysplasia, that is overgrowth. Uh, in the car in the second stage, there is a loss of uh, this is KRAS. Uh, yeah, I think mutation. So KRAS mutation will lead to uh, hypertrophy what or. What is KRAS? KRAS is an oncogene, ma'am. Uh, oncogene, yeah. What is an oncogene? So, oncogene is any gene. It's basically a uh, gene which is mutated. So they produce oncoproteins, which cause uh, further mutations and uh, multiplication of the cell resulting in tumor um, I don't know how to sell, tell it. So yeah, our oncogenes basically, ma'am, are those genes which are mutated genes, and they result in oncoproteins which form uh, further trans uh, mutation in the tumor, either the tumor suppressor genes or the um, tumor. What How do we the call it? Colon carcinoma spreads on metastasis. Ma'am, it spread to the um, transcelomic and. Um, via the blood metastasis. What should be the management that can be offered to this particular patient? Some so this is... Yes, colon carcinoma. Ma'am, this patient has a colon limited in the descending colon in the sigmoid. So she will be, she should be offered a left hemicolectomy uh, followed by a um, chemotherapy for uh, better survival chances. For how long? So chemotherapy, ma'am, would be there for six months. After that, patient would be asked for a three-monthly, then six-monthly, and then annual uh, checkup for at least five years. If a patient has a history of colon carcinoma, how should that patient be uh, followed up uh, for the sake of precaution or a family a survival follow-up? Uh, what is the word I'm supposed to If a patient has family history, and you suspect that this patient can also have uh, colon carcinoma, how would you follow up that case or that patient? Mum, we would... <coughs> how frequently are you so, going to follow up? Yes. I think, ma'am, it was after the age of 40 that the patient has to have an annual um, follow-up. Uh, and the annual follow-up would be with the uh, help of... After 40, ma'am. If patient has some... <coughs> Um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not exactly recalling the figure, but I guess so. I may be wrong. I'm sorry. But it's too late. Yes, if you uh, were thinking ulcerative colitis, then how, how would that be? Can anyone add? 
so if it's ulcerative colitis or um, i said yes 12 years dr abbas and dr 12 12 yes, okay. yeah yes. then uh, according to nice guidelines how frequently are, are you going to call the patient in sorry ma'am how frequently are you going to call the patient in for the follow up or the for the uh, sorry actually i cannot hear you your voice is too low i cannot hear you uh, how are you going to can you hear me now how are you going to plan yes, yes, yes. the follow up for the patient who has a family history so ma'am that would be with the help of uh, annual colonoscopy um, and uh, some tumor uh, markers that we do for the patient like uh, ca125 in the case of ca colon and there are, i guess some other tumor markers i cannot recall there's a whole list <laughs> written in the chat you can check uh ma'am just checking right now CEA, yes, sorry, yeah, CEA levels, yep. Right. Questions? 